guys doing? Um, I'm sick, first and <coughs> foremost, and Josh is a little sick at me too. Um, but I am doing the much awaited um, pumpkin cheesecake. Hopefully, you guys will see this in time and be able to get to the store and do your um, pumpkin cheesecake. If not, I'm sorry, but it's always great to make any time of the year. Somebody's birthday. I'll also do a tutorial on handmade, I mean handmade, homemade um, whipped cream. Okay, so basically what you're going to need is, I pulled out a few different things. Um, you're going to need, I prefer to use a mixture of the vanilla wafer and the graham crackers. And so that's what I usually use for my crust. And what we do is, you can buy these, Brandon, honey, find the box of them already, of it already crushed up. Um, maybe not, he ran off to put on a shirt. Anyways, um, you can, go look in this cabinet, hold on, Jossie, talk to them, because um, they all love you anyways. Hi, uh, my mom's getting something in them. it up yourself. You can even put it in a baggie and um, crush it up or you can use like I said the mocajete and you do the same thing with the vanilla wafers. And after doing a lot of research and doing a bunch of different crusts I discovered that the vanilla wafers gives it a better taste. Um, so funny I've got my one of the boys are over there and then I got the three sitting right behind the camera. But um the Cheesecake Factory actually uses the vanilla wafers as their crust, so just a heads up. But anyways, um, I still love the traditional graham cracker portion of it, so I do um, one cup of the graham cracker and three-fourths of a cup of the vanilla wafer, okay? Then I pulled this out so you can see. You're going to need, I just got the store... Walmart brand, great values. You're going to need the salted sweet cream butter, and you're going to need one stick melted. So you're going to just take it and pour that bad boy in here. Okay. And then I just use one of these. You can get these at the Dollar Tree. Hold on, baby. You're going to get to do this mixture. <laughs> you hear her? Okay. So then, you will like it when they tickle me and I laugh. My eye tickle. <laughs> you can tell this video is not going to be edited. It's just you're going to see raw family footage of us <coughs> making a dessert for tomorrow. Okay. And the, no, I'm not going to edit. Um, I just got my recipe off of, well, the hubby found it off of Paula Dean's Food Network. So, and I'll put the recipe in, <laughs> what's up with the look? I'll put the recipe in the description box below. But basically you need one and three fourths graham cracker crumbs. You're gonna need three tablespoons of light brown sugar. And this is my light brown sugar. Ooh, careful baby. So, three tablespoons. Wait, wait, wait. It's okay. Here we go. So, shake it. One, two, and normally when I do my, um, three, normally when I do my pumpkin, I mean my crust, I normally do it with, um, brown sugar. Just mix 
that all up. Okay, I'm going to let Jossie mix it while I grab a spray real quick. Whoa. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Uh, you can keep it on the side just a second, baby, okay? You're just going to take a spring form pan, and you don't have to spray it, but I spray it very, very, just very lightly. Just a little. Now you smell like butter. Um, no, that's not spray butter. And you just pour the whole thing in here. Can you put it over there now? Um, i got to get Noelle and Nico to come over and be in this video, but... Come here. No. Real quick, please. Okay. Come on, you gotta pat this in here anyway. Come on. I'll do it. So they can see how handsome you are and how you look just like your daddy. <laughs> I'm telling you, this time last, not last year, but a few years ago, um, we went to go get our pictures taken with Santa Claus. And you're just gonna swish this in here. And while I, while Ni Noelle comes and does this, hold on, Jossie, you're gonna do the other portion. Go ahead. Um, we, I'm going to push this to the side because we are done with that now. <laughs> My God, you just got to set it down. It's not, it's not that hard. Now, he doesn't want to show his hands in this. Look, look up. it up against the sides um but anyways you see how he looks he looks just like his daddy um we were at the mall one year getting our christmas pictures taken and if you like it up the sides you can do that they you guys don't like it up the sides do you so they like a thick crust but they don't like it going up the sides and this is being stubborn but anyways um so we went to go get our pictures taken with Santa Claus and this his, uh, Filipino girl, which I'm Filipino, so I don't discriminate, she was um, flirting with Noelle like there was no tomorrow. And just as we got our pictures taken and we were paying, she goes, he's so cute, he's handsome, just like his daddy. Oh my God, it took everything in my power not to just like jump over the counter and beat her up. Because she just was flirting the whole time. So I'm just going to set these aside. I'm going to clean up my area. Um, and I'm going to have Nico come over here real quick. Oh, sorry. Nico, come on so they can see you too. He's 16 and he's massive. He's bigger. He's taller than me. It's ridiculous. This is my oldest son. Um, take this and put this in the refrigerator so it can set. But this is Nico, so you guys finally get to see the hubby's kids. Aren't they adorable? Well, I can't say adorable. Like, he's like, the older one is handsome. And then, Brandon, turn it off, baby. That gets loud for them, honey. Okay, so now we've completed that portion of it. Now I'm going to tell you the heads up with cheesecake. Now I've got all four boys behind the camera and us two girls in front of the camera. Um, the Does trick with cheesecake... Hold on, baby. The main, my hair's falling, just to let y'all know. The main trick with cheesecake is you'll need a water bath if your cheesecake doesn't contain, that's fine, if your cheesecake does not contain flour. This cheesecake has flour, so therefore you will not require a water bath. So, what we do is we're going to take, and I just buy the great value, you can get this um, at Walmart or the Dollar Tree, whatever. Um, you're going to need three of the eight ounces. So we're going to pop this in. I've rambled so much, and I'm sorry the video is so long, but I wanted to share my family and us baking together. So you're going to pop all three of those in there. Okay. Pop three. And while I do this, I'm going to have Noelle. I thought it was me. You're going to mix this, so you come on this side. Noelle, come over on this side, honey. And you are going, come on. Okay, start slowly. Start it at four. So this is, um, right there. This is my KitchenAid that the hubby bought me. Go over there and measure 
you're going to need to measure one-fourth of a cup of sour cream. Something right here. You're just going to basically let this mix and then I'm going to turn it up just a little bit higher. Okay, go ahead. Turn it up high. So that, yes, go ahead. So I turn it up all the way so it can, okay, so that it can come off of the, um, the, the, the so it can come off the batter mix itself, okay? So then after that, we're going to add, I'm going to lift this up, and this is what I'm talking about, how it comes onto here. So we're going to add, is he making faces? <laughs> we're going to add the pumpkin puree, which is what it says to do. So I'm just going to take this little thing again that we got at the Dollar Tree. And you're going to add a 15 ounce can. <laughs> He's not a fan of pumpkin, so um, we're actually going to make a regular cheesecake after this. But we ran out of um, eggs after this one, so we actually are going to run to the store and get some more eggs. So, mix all that in. And you don't want to overbeat your, um, your cream cheese. So you're just, just going to gently mix that in at two. Okay, go ahead and hold on to that. Okay. So now we're going to add eggs, which I'm going to have Brandon, Jossie, Nico, and no, he's yeah. adding the sour cream. You guys, one at a time, crack your eggs and pop them in there. Can you give me your egg yolks? Put it here. Mm -hmm. Oops, sorry. Jossie, did you crack yours already in there? Okay. Watch out, Brandon. Go ahead and crack yours in there. Crack it in there, baby. Crack it in there, baby. Um, it also requires one egg yolk, so I'm going to actually take this egg and just get just the yolk. your hands because you know how mommy feels about okay now I went back and forth and now this is just the egg yolk and I'm gonna pop that in there as well I'm wash my hands. yes wash your hands um okay now we are going to add the sour cream which is Noelle's job come and add the sour cream honey go ahead and pop that in there mix it up make sure it's all the way in while I wash my hands Basically, you just scoop it in there so that is one fourth of a cup of the sour cream. And again, you're just going to stir that. And now we're going to need one and a half cups of sugar. So, you know, come on this side, honey, and put all this stuff in the sink, baby. So, I'm going to stop this, lift this up. And this is not going to work for me today. Watch out, princess. So we need one and a half cups of sugar. So here is half a cup. Okay, Jossie. <laughs> Some of the things my kids say. So one and a half cups, okay? So we are also going to mix that in there. We're also going to need, where's my spoons go? We're going to need, this is brand new, you can get these at the Dollar Tree, and we need, oops, how lovely, it didn't want to come all the way apart. So, watch out baby. So 
So for the ground nutmeg, we need one eighth of a teaspoon. So right here. You're so tiny. I got it, baby. Just measure one eighth of a teaspoon and pop that in there while this is mixing. And I'm mixing it on low. Then we also need one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, which is right here. Put one on what? On this. Oh, you put it on one? Okay. Yeah. And again, this is brand new from the Dollar Tree. Turn it to one. We need half a teaspoon. Pop that in there. She's showing me the directions to make sure. And one eighth of a teaspoon of ground cloves. This I got at Walmart. Sounds like it's going to be a gingerbread man. Sounds like it's going to be a gingerbread man. <laughs> like a gingerbread man. And okay, we'll pop that in there. Okay, now Jossie is going to rear it. Oh, wait, hold on. And we need two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Am I going to do that? Which, do you want to measure it? No? Mm -hmm. I do. You do, baby? Sure. Okay. And I just got this box mm -hmm. from the Dollar Tree, right, honey? Well, Mommy's got it, baby. It looks like it's going to be messy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> so you're going to pop in two tablespoons. Right? Yeah, two tablespoons. Okay. And lastly, we need one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So. And Jossie is going to bump up the speed. We're going to have Nico get out the crust. Bump up the speed, baby. To what? All the way. Okay. This is to mix everything. Now we're going to pop it off. we got a mess in front of us. Okay. It's cold. Okay. You didn't get it this way. Put this down, baby. I cannot stand working with a messy area. I'm just going to pour this whole thing in here. Oops. I made a what? I made a hat. Nuh uh. Nuh uh. And whatever might have gotten stuck to the bottom, make sure you just mix that all in real good. You want to hit, hit it on that thing again? Sure. Okay. Just to make sure it's all nice and done. Fluffy. Watch out. Nice and fluffy. Is that your word? Nice and fluffy. Okay. So we're going to pop this back on. And I'm just doing this to mix up the um, cheesecake a little bit more. I had it, Normally you want to make sure it's mixed all at one time, but... It's a little different when you have all of the kids in the kitchen trying to do this with you. Okay. okay stop that now. I decided it wanted to fall. Okay. It wasn't on all the way, no? You guess? Okay, so when you do it, make sure you scrape the sides and all that other good stuff to make sure that you've got that great consistency that you want. You just pour this in there. And then you bake this for, let me make sure I tell you right, because I kind of do mine differently than most, but I have an actual pan that I use that you can cook it in, um, but, you know, just whip that all in there together, and you'll pop this in the oven, and I will show you guys how it looks when it's done. Do I have so, to talk? Thank you guys so much for watching and joining us to make the pumpkin cheesecake for you from my family to from my family to your household. So again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, rate comment, comment, and subscribe. Love you guys.